It was um, seven years ago. He actually passed away seven years ago. And um, he wrote the first verse, and I wrote the second verse, and we uh, did the song together, and it's called Destiny, and it's, it's, it's a song. If you just listen to the words, it's just talking about how you just keep pushing no matter what comes up against you. And um, it's a very monumental song to me personally. It means a lot to me because because like how Bishop says that when you do something in faith, it continues to, to ripple and go forth. My brother's death, he, he lived a life of faith and he was a seed when he died and everything that he stood for when he was alive is still moving forward even though he's not here right now. And another thing that his seed did that you guys don't know is that I was not completely and fully sold out for God, you know, when he was sold out for God. And he still continued to believe for my salvation and continued to believe for my family's salvation, which is what I'm believing for right now. But his seed went forth and his seed was still moving for him, which allowed me to be in position right now. So that, it means so much to me. It speaks volumes to me because sometimes I feel like when God is not even keeping me for myself, I know that God is keeping me for my brother because he sold that seed. And so just be encouraged on tonight, y'all, because I'm encouraged, I'm blessed, and I'm moving forward in destiny in Jesus' name. And not only that, I just wanted to share to go along with the word. When um, Bishop says the greatest prayer is when you can pray for someone else. Earlier today, I was at home with Zeta by myself, and I literally was in so much pain I got scared. I thought I was like, I thought I was dying and I began to like panic because the pain was so overwhelming. My temperature was rising and I was in the house like, Lord, I'm in the house with Zeta by myself. You know, I got to get it together. And I was panicking, but I knew it was a spirit of fear. And usually I call or I text Minister Cannon, but for some reason I texted Della and I was like, pray because I don't know what's going on. And she was texting me back and forth. And I was like, have you ever just felt like you knew something was wrong and you just don't know what to do? However, I was in pain. Like I was already telling Minister McNair, like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm gonna ask Bishop if I could just take tonight to rest. But when she called, she said that Dr. Hepburn wanted her to do the song to tribute her brother. And I was like, God, give me the strength she, I, I never sang the song, but I know that Bishop teaches us that we have to be instant in season. And I was just like, Lord, I love Adela and please take this pain away so I can minister with her to tribute her brother because I know what it is to lose a loved one. And when I'm telling you, Dr. Hepburn, I have been in pain for days. Minister McNair can tell you last night, I probably lost a couple pounds is how much I vomited last night. And I literally, after I said that prayer, I sat on the couch and it was like God instantly took the pain away. I was able to start moving, getting ready for church. I have been in no pain all night long. And when Bishop said that, I knew that that was God because, you know, I knew I had asked for something above Olga. It's one, I could pray all day like, Lord, just heal me so I can do what I want to do. But because he knew I, my love for Adela and how much I knew it meant to her tonight, I know that's why he instantly heard and honored my prayer. So the word was just on point tonight. And just to hear you say that, the test created the opportunity for her healing because she passed the test. We didn't plan this. because she's now ministry. Blood, sweat, and tears in this music Sacrificing bodily fluids just to pursue it Cats wondering how I go from stuttering to speaking fluent Player haters mad cause they can't do it You didn't know I've been neglected, rejected, and disrespected Since my birth I was treated like an outcast Labeled trash, but the Bible says the first shall be last I'm walking sandfall in the hourglass Trying to forget the hurts of my past Over time my mindset has changed I'm tired of playing games It's hip hop, be running through my veins like blood I give my life for this love Music with purpose is what I'm pursuing These haters doubting me
me, but I'm still moving Cause I could see success in the distance I plan to leave a legacy for my lost descendants And let my lyrics rise to God like some holy incense It's not a game, I'm pressing through all opposition and resistance Listen Sometimes I wanna stop But I hear destiny calling me And it keeps on calling me When all my friends are gone And I am all alone How quickly time flies It's like you're looking at your whole life Passing you by And you wonder why the things you want in life take so long And every time you try to do right Everything just seems wrong You say that time is running out And you don't know what to do And the only person that can choose the right thing is you But you're still unsure of who you are And can't really say What you think is right So then you turn to God and you pray But you hear no answer Slowly you begin to realize That you never really knew him And start to compromise in your life That he's the only one that can make things right Or give you peace in your mind And when you sleep at night so you make up the decision to give god your heart but you fooled around so much that you don't know where to start well y'all can stay in that position and say god let this be but i'm gonna keep on pressing because i know there's destiny calling me but sometimes i want to stop but i hear destiny calling me and it keeps on calling me when all my friends are gone and i'm all alone Don't this stop, keep song. pushing towards this destiny. This is a love song, yeah. This is a love song. It's time for you to arrive.